Hello, hello, hello. How you doing? How's your afternoon going? Beautiful here. Uh, finally, the last couple days was rain, 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 constant. So um, April showers bring my flowers. So <laughs> I keep telling myself that. Um, so happy May Day. Happy Beltane to people who care. Um, make sure you do a fire or something tonight. Make it make it awesome. You could always throw um, all the negative stuff or things you want to let go into the fire. It's very therapeutic. Definitely love doing that kind of stuff. Um, if you do come on, make sure that you comment because um, sometimes Facebook's weird and I can't tell if you're here or not unless you comment. So um, this is my cutie little teacup today. Um, I think, where was it made? England. So it's just simple little flowers. I thought it was good for, for May Day, uh, 1st of May. I am drinking um, lemon ginger tea today. Very, I, I love ginger, not necessarily the lemon, but both together are great. You guys drinking anything fun? What are you grateful for today? Um, today I'm grateful for my practice. So what I encompass as my practice is, you know, my yoga that I do, my meditation, um, and basic mindfulness. Uh, it's helped me a lot uh, in the last couple of weeks in this quarantine to just put things into perspective, don't let things get too, too tense, too crazy. Uh, when I felt like, oh man, I'm going to uh, like off the deep end, I'll be like, hey, what practice can I use to get me out of this? A lot of times it's just mindfulness, which means just staying in that present moment. So that's what I'm grateful for right now. It's just that I'm continuing to deepen my practice. I'm trying to only watch certain things that I feel that will will help me in that as well. Um, it's weird. Ever since I started meditating and doing yoga on a regular basis, can't watch certain things anymore. Um, I used to love horror movies, and I can only watch certain ones. Um, if somebody's like like a child's in danger, that's also since I had a, a child, I can't watch it. it it's, it's so sad. Like um, I remember we watched. The one with the clown. Oh my gosh, I'm blanking. Anyway, you guys know which one I'm talking about. Um, and it was completely fine. I loved it. But then I tried to rewatch it after having Deb. And I couldn't watch, like, because literally at the very beginning, the kid gets hurt. And I, I literally had to turn it off before. So I don't know. I think that's partially like when you're going deeper into trying to find kindness and you know that loving kindness towards others it's kind of hard to, to watch violence which is weird never thought that would happen to me but that's where i'm at hi lisa um what are you are you drinking anything what are you grateful for um so basically i wanted to talk about today is getting past labels and the reason that instead of just letting it be like normal, getting away from that is because it's really connected to your ego. Now in the teachings that I've been delving into, um, the ego isn't a bad thing, but it's bad when you let it control you. And I feel like most people do. I definitely have major bouts <laughs> with my ego. Um, the major one, at least in recent past, was when I uh, left Aldi. <laughs> um, I was a grocery store manager for 11 years, and that was who I was. And I saw myself as the manager, and I saw myself as that person. And once that was taken away, for a couple weeks, I was just... I was devastated because that's who I was. That's what I saw myself as. I had that title. I had that 
you know, the job that I've always was striving for. And then when it was gone, I felt lost. I felt like I didn't know myself anymore. And I didn't matter anymore because I didn't have like that job and I didn't have the title. And it was really, it was really rough for a while there. <laughs> um, and then after that, I, you know, hi, Tracy. Um, I, I, be, when I became a mother, that's another title that was really strange to me and still is strange to me because I can't even imagine having that title. It's so much, it's so much pressure. And, you know, I still was in like a weird connection with like, no, I'm still a kid, even though I'm in my thirties. I feel like sometimes I just don't understand that I I can have a kid and be responsible for all of this and oh, you know, so just the label itself. Hi Ashley. Hi Yolanda. Are you guys drinking anything? Any tea, coffee? What are you grateful for? Um, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, so becoming a mother, it took a long time to convince myself that that, that was even a title that I had. Um, I don't know if any first mothers have felt that experience as well. It just felt strange. I miss you too, Ashley. You need to call me soon. Uh, <laughs> um, but that's another label that we attach to ourselves. Um, and if anything switches, then you feel lost because you don't have that label. You're not that person because it was taken away from you. Um, so it's, it's kind of like putting on a mask. Um, just having, still find yourself putting on a new mask so others will either like you, they'll understand you, take you seriously. Um, you're basically trying to please people because, you know, even you were basically bred to feel this way when you were a kid. You you want people to like you. So, you know, everyone likes that popular kid. So I want to try to be like them. Um and my body needs to look a certain way. And if it doesn't, then I'm less than, it just doesn't make any real sense. <laughs> but we, we cling to these things because the ego wants all this positive reinforcement and we just can't we're constantly needing it. And the ego just always is being like, I gotta be this person. I gotta do this, have the perfect job, have 2.5 kids and, house and blah, 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 blah. And, and then eventually that'll make me happy. And most of the time that happiness is only a little blip because then you still are reaching for more and you want the other title, the senior executive or the blah, 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 um, the grandmother, you know, that kind of stuff. So it's just those labels contain us and it doesn't let us breathe. It doesn't let us you know, grow as people. And a lot of times just feel suffocating like you are putting that mask on. Hi, Miss Stanley. How are you? Miss you like crazy. Um, so just feeling like you can let go of who you say you are because it's all just a facade. It's all just, oh, I'm, I say I'm a Democrat. I'm a Republican. I'm straight, I'm gay, I'm blah, 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 blah. I'm all of these things when really deep down inside the eternal part of you is none of that because it's, you know, it's man-made, it's of this world and it's not really who you are deep down inside. And I think a lot of times people have issues with feeling that pressure, <laughs> the constant pressure of having to be something to other people. And that's what the hardest thing is to just let go of that title, let go of that, who you are, that box, that container. Um, when you're a teenager, it was like, don't label me. It's true because there's that immense pressure to be that person and be that person for other people. Hi, Chris. Um, to be that person for everybody. Hi, Bridget. Um, it's just, it's stressful and it's not realistic. It's never going to last. Nothing ever lasts. So everything is in constant changing, constant flux. So we just have to, when we feel overwhelmed, when we feel like, hey, I'm supposed to be this person, you just have to chill out and take a breath because 
you are not your body and you are not your mind. You are not your thoughts. Your thoughts is, are that ego part of you that's saying, hey, I need to be this person. People are going to be talking about me. I need to have that positive reinforcement. They're criticizing me because I'm not who they want me to be. And it's not worth it at all. Oh, I miss you too. Um, are you guys drinking anything fun? Uh, are you grateful for anything? Well, I hope you're grateful for something. But what are you grateful for right now? Just say it so we can kind of push it out into the universe. Um, there is one other thing before I delve back into that. A um, couple announcements. Um, I did do a poll in the comments. I don't know how it works, but um, I did put a poll in asking if anybody wanted me to do this in Zoom so you could actually participate and um, actually into the conversation. Um, I'm just curious. I don't know if you want to or not, if you just want to hear me babble on. <laughs> um, but I'd love to have like an actual conversation with you guys. Um, so if you want to do that, I can also put it on Facebook Live as well. So it's not that big a deal. So you can be a part of it or not. Um, but I thought that that would be a cool thing to add now that we're on episode 12, which is insane. Uh, Bridget, my son's courage. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I mean, for these kids, I can't even imagine. I was just thinking about the seniors, like, in in high school. Um, how sad that is that they weren't able to do their their closure of high school, of just saying, hey, here's, you know, you don't get to do prom. You don't get to see these people ever again. Like, most of those people you're never going to see again. And you didn't have that graduation. You didn't have that passing out of high school. It's just even elementary school. I mean, that would be rough. That is like you, that it's done. That part of your life is completed. And now you don't even get to say goodbye to a lot of people. So I feel really hard for, for those people that are just like, oh, well, I guess that's it. <laughs> on to the next, I guess. But anyway, on top of that, um, reminder that I have this um, initiative that I just started, Be Kind Always. It actually, you get this little cool band, Be Kind Always. Um, there's a Facebook group on my Anchorage Retreat Center page. Um, and I want to give these free because obviously it's advertisement, but it also reminds you like right on your wrist to just like take a breath, think of how you can be kind in the situation that you're in. And like WWJD, kind of like that reminder of like, how can I be kind in this, especially when it's so stressful of a time out there. Um, and I want to give them out free, but I'm just asking for like a $3, you know, for, to ship to you. So let me know, um, direct message me if you want one. And I'd love to take a picture, you know, say like, hey, I'm from where so-and-so, um, so that I can kind of push out that positive energy that we're trying to kind of create in this whole thing. Uh, grateful for my health for sure i'm also grateful for the weather today it's gorgeous here um and then i also have two retreats we had to push them back um they were actually one of them was supposed to start today uh, <laughs> but that didn't happen um because michigan is still in lockdown at least until the 15th so we pushed them back to june so if you guys are interested we still have a couple spots not many for the self-care women's retreat that's in June 12th through 14th. So it's a weekend. And then we also have our writer's retreat, which we have spots open as well, which is June 19th to 21st. So there are actually events in the Facebook group. So if you want to look and see what we got going on, I'd love for you to be there, especially because it's our first retreats that we're doing ever. Um, and I just feel like it's it's pretty cool because we're, we're only going to have a small group so that we can social distance still. Um, so we'll have like an open air kind of tent instead of being in, you know, a cloistered place. Cause we want to have, you know, enough oxygen for everybody. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you guys want to do that, um, or just share it with friends that you think might be interested, but anyway, so again, going back to feeling like you don't have to hold on to that mask. You're not that title. You're not that 
one person because we're always constantly moving, constantly evolving. And that we are not our bodies um, and that we don't have that to attach to us all the time because we're all connected. We're all the same. So I feel like I want to finish this with a meditation. So I'm going to say a few affirmations throughout. So if you guys want to get comfy, make sure that anywhere that you're sitting, you have your spine straight. Close your eyes if you'd like. Try and start taking deeper breaths. Breathe the deepest that you have today. Inhale. Hold at the top of your breath. Exhale with a sigh. Keep, keep taking those deep breaths. And that's the first step to any sort of meditation practice following your breath. It's always there with you. Now say these affirmations aloud or silently with me. I am not the body. I am not the mind. I am pure awareness. I am loving kindness. I am eternal. I am free. Whenever you forget these things, just always come back to your breath. Bring your awareness to your heart center. Feel that white light. Bring it out into the world. You're all connected. You're all one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale with a sigh. 
One more inhale. Bring your hands to heart center. And open your eyes. Bring a smile to your lips. The light in me sees the light in you, for we are one and the same. Thank you. Namaste. Enjoy your weekend, everybody. Love you.